Hey, hey, Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer here with another episode of Sim Settlements. Who? For Fallout 4. And yes, we are outside the BADTFL regional office, but we're not going to do that yet because, uh, your boy discovered something a little surprising. That this is twice now that Simon has hiccuped when going here. And I did a little bit of a cheat to find out where he went to and after converting this well after getting this set up to be a new base I found him in there in the new base so we're gonna go to the Akashic library we're gonna do Simon's bit first and see if he'll actually show up for that I got his ref ID number stored just in case I'm wrong but Nonetheless, here we go. And yeah, as soon as you hear a fuzzy boy going, lowered human, yeah, you might want to pop a Radix. So I just did that, and oh man, the colors are all weird and weird. And that sucks, there's nothing in the Nuka Cola machine. Okay, so first order of business, we're going to make our way to. Museum of Witchcraft, because that is a good along the way. We'll need to be there at some point, so we might as well just have it there for Mark King. Oh, look at that. I missed. That's embarrassing. Now you know why I normally... Re uh, work with fats. He's behind the... Oh, no, he's not behind the tree. Eh, screw this. That worked. We're going to save after a successful fight. Moving on. And this is on the Red X? Oosh. Don't get me wrong, it's really pretty out, especially with the snow. But it's kind of trippy. Nuclear winter. I thought I heard it. Okay, see about crippling this Yabwai's legs. And would you look at that, we found ourselves a little greater hideaway. A scavenger hideaway. Wait a minute. Oh my god, this is a random campfire. How many times have I gone by this spot and never noticed that it's a random camp that it's a campfire area? So when I start looking for level four merchants, okay? We're going to need to file this, because it's right near the Museum of Witchcraft. Like, due southwest of it. Definitely worth filing away. Never knew. No, never. Is that that frog? Um, in case you're wondering, my first attempt, there was a big giant nasty frog 
The first time, I killed it, no problems, but the game crashed. The second time, it got me. I uh, repressed regeneration. Yep, there it is. Disgusting rat toad. And um, that's what I found out about the hiccup again. And in a prior run through, I had that same hiccup with Simon. Okay. Well, that was incredibly easy. Never going to complain about a success like that. Oh, hell no. Now, I had this great joke queued up here. We're coming up on a parking area in front of where we need to be. And more often than not, there's going to be a... A, um, a Meyer Lurk Queen. But because I'm not very high level, though that's never stopped the game before, it apparently is not giving it to me this time. But when I aimed in on the area with vats, oh, yep, there it is. There's the joke again. I made that disc I made that claim. Hey, there's a big nasty thing, and it zooms in on a turkey. And at that point, I had said, and well, now I'm seeing that. That's exactly what I feel like. Anyway. Show you all something else too. All right, right here. A really neat little spot, and everything is possessed, so don't take it. Hi, best scrap in the Commonwealth, right here. Sure, let's take a look. We got a merchant, guys, and he's got a fair amount of ammo. Love that. But we're going to use this to sell some crap. Lighten our load a little bit. And we will take a one cap loss. As I said, all we really needed to do was lighten our load a little bit. We're down a few pounds and that's exactly what I wanted. Bobby Pin and a Sunset Sarsaparilla t-shirt. Gotta love that. And we gotta go up the hill, and hopefully Simon will be there this time. And if not, we're gonna track him down and see where he is and see why he's not, why we're not getting the lead on this. And the Myrler Queen has been replaced by turkeys. It's just that simple. Reload our gun. Switch to our pistol, which also needs a reloading. And there he is. So now we know what's been causing the problem. Hi. Good. You made it. Judge Bishop's shack is just up ahead. Right. The plan. Walk up, looking unthreatening, but like officers of the law. Introductions, present the book, offer the job, and, uh, and, uh... <laughs> Oh, sure. I mean, random stranger approaches me in the middle of nowhere, offers me a job. What could possibly go wrong? Well, maybe. Only one way to find out, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. Poor kid. 
and dog meat's messing with the well hello sucks stuck seagull not now dog we're not here for that She right is. There. This is private property, so turn yourself around and no one gets shot. But, ma'am, we're here to. I've survived out here in the ass of the Commonwealth for over 200 years now, so don't try to get one up on me. No, ma'am, uh, but as I, well, we're here to help. I mean you no harm. No one here does, all right? We're just here to talk. Fine. I'm not looking for trouble either. I'll hear what you have to say, but make it quick. <clears throat> Ma'am, I'm with the Commonwealth Police Department, and we need your help. We need your expertise. We need Judge Bishop. You need Judge Bishop? Now, there's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Police? Now, that's another one. Ma'am, we're building the force back up. But without an independent judiciary, we're little more than vigilantes. And you think that bothers me? Maybe this land needs more vigilantes. Bringing law to the wealth. Might as well try to mop up a river. Your work could be instrumental in freeing the Commonwealth. Oh, that part of my ego hasn't been stroked for a long, long time. I'm a decrepit old woman, career and family long gone, living a peaceful life with this great view. What do you think could possibly shift me? Well, ma'am, I did bring you this. Well, I'll be. This is a blast from the past, and no mistake, where did you... I managed to fight my way through the library. Yes, thanks to my friend here. We've secured Boston Library, and we're set to ensure our officers know about the law. That book's author wanted everyone to see justice done right. Yes, she did. But that was a long time ago. You understand the word independent, don't you? Yes, ma'am. An independent judiciary would need to be just that. Not just someone to rubber stamp your actions. Couldn't agree more. Glad to hear it. I'll think about what you said. I'll be checking up on your deeds, and... I just might. No promises, though. Now let me have my peaceful view back. You're making me feel old with all these yes ma'ams and ancient <laughs> books. Yes ma'am. Hope we meet again soon. So, that could not have gone any better. Except for the spasmatic uh, seagull here. Wow. Thanks. I couldn't have gotten going without your help. I think that went well? What do you think? I have a good feeling that we'll be seeing the judge again. Just need to keep the CPD on the right path. Well, thanks again. And I hope we'll see you again soon back at the station. Bye. Okay, so we got Simon done. We're going to tag one more thing while we're here. And there we go. We have that tagged. It's the entrance to Vault 4. box down there. Yeah, what do I care? I got Aqua Boy. But you can't fast travel while swimming. Couple of bobby pin boxes. Nice. Alright, so we're going to save after that ridiculous success. We are going to go back to the BADTFL regional office. Actually,
what we're going to actually do is we are going to go to County Crossing. Drop off some junk. Here we are. Let's do what we need to do. Same thing we always need to do. Okay. And we're just going to have a quick look see, see if there's anything worth scrapping. Actually, this is. Those will show up at any place I decide I want to um, tink, as Strong said, tinker with my weapons. Okay, so we are going to go now to Bunker Hill to sell some stuff. We're trying to clear out as much room as we possibly can before we do this because we're going to be messing with raiders, which means a fair amount of loot. And at this point, instead of just waiting for another damn load screen on my end, it just might be faster and actually more exciting to actually run there. Now, I'm sure you've noticed the past couple of videos, I've been going to County Crossing a fair amount for stuff. Well, it's because that's kind of my outpost to the northeast right now. I mean, yes, I guess, you know, Green Top could be too, but it's kind of that more central to everything. So, it, as an outpost, it kind of makes my life that much easier, which is really nice. Okay, we need to head more towards the Crack Den than we do to the USS Constitution. That'll start something else entirely, which we are just not ready for. All right. Stop and load the new assets. Otherwise, I'm going to get that really annoying player character crash. Yes, that is such a thing. Where are you two going? Make a move and I'll end. They're funny. Anyway, here we are. Bunker Hill as we wait for the assets for that to load, and that can be kind of messy sometimes. That loaded up a lot easier than I thought it would. <laughs> Meg. And we've got nobody here. So I guess we'll talk to Deb. <coughs> I fixed up most of what's here myself, so it's all guaranteed. <laughs> Unless you need to return it. I've got a few minutes to browse. See something you like, buy it. My stock moves fast. We're going to keep that because I don't know if I have one yet or not. And we have not recently been to Sanctuary. My home base. 
All right, we're going to save after all of that shenanigans. And we're going to run to the BADTFL office because it is right nearby. We do have the quest up, right? Yes. Yes, we do. Should be quiet because at the end of the last video I took out the critters that were the raiders that were in front, which is part of the reason I was so overweight in the first place. Alright, let's find Lena. We'll talk to her. We'll get this started. There she is. Hey there. Well, that's not how this was meant to start. Someone needs to learn the All meaning right, of keep your head down. <laughs> Officer Stompy and Floppy, stay out here and guard the door. And I think we should go serve an eviction notice to the rest of the scum inside. Let's go in there and get him. Let's go serve some All right. justice. So we're going to save after that. Let's do this. Okay, so all we really need to do here is kill the raiders. We got all the good stuff from the first time around. There goes the dog. Who's next? And not ours. to get out of the way. Take two. Or as I like to say, let's try this again, this time without the oops.
should fight with Strongmore. Good team. Okay, we're going to go through the rest of this because we are clearly not done yet, even though it says we're done. Maybe. Oh no, I know where. Who's there? Okay, that's it. Hey. We did it. It's done. We have a new HQ. I owe you a big thanks. We couldn't have done it without you. What are you going to do now? Now I need to tell the others. Get things moving. I'll see you later. So we got that done. That's good. And that will finish. Will that finish the CPD quest line? Hey, I don't know, but we got a level out of it, so that's always good. Speaking of improving, why don't we take a look see at our boy Strong and then we'll see how our relationship with him is doing. I have 83. Okay. Let's spend our level. Come on. Another point of charisma. Bring it up to a 9. I mean, we could have used it in strength, but it wouldn't have made that much of a difference. Well, here's the thing. If this is going to be their base now, now we can go here if we want to. Use, if we want to talk to Jared about selling some crap, it's about all that's good for for now. Later in the ser uh, in the story, they will become useful, and we will need their help. Right now, now that we finished the CPD storyline, as short as it is, we're going to go to Sanctuary. We haven't been there in a bit. Actually, we're going to go to the Red Rocket Truck Stop. I want to take a look-see at something there. It's the only place where we have 
a uh, uh, recruiting beacon up of any type. I have the uh, I don't have any hooked up to any of the others because well, I want better settlers. I want named settlers, but nobody seems to be flocking anywhere. So we're gonna see if the rec plot and com plots have attracted anybody. We do have the Vault Tech rep there for with a general store. Actually, I'll also need to sell stuff to him. And hopefully, maybe, just maybe, we can also look at maybe buying that Apocalypse gear that he has. And we are at the Red Rocket uh, truck stop. So I had to go here and... Uh-oh. What time is it? It's midnight. Well, so much for selling uh, selling stuff. But... <laughs> Finally! Oh, finally. We have finally gotten our first named settler. Ed Rock, who is unique to the Red Rocket. Let's look and see what he can do. Five strength, five perception, five intelligence. And what do we have available? We have farming, we have guarding, and we have selling. So he's not very useful for what we have. So what we're going to do before we... Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to talk to him, get his quest. <clears throat> help! Help! Uh, they got our tea. I need a manager. Are you the manager? Slow down. Take a breath, for God's sake. No time. I ran all the way from Lexington. I hope the Red Rocket 1518 can lend a hand in my time of need. My pal RT and I were pulling a night shift at the Red Rocket 1409. Some hooligans barged in there with their switchblades and ran me off. But not RT. I thought he ran off when I did, but they took him captive. He's still at the Red Rocket 1409. Please, you have got to get him back. I'll take care of it. I saw the hooligans take RT to an underground storage unit near Red Rocket 1409. They said something about gambling and bets? Here, take my bandana. That way RT will know I sent you. If you get RT back, I'll put in a transfer for 1518. Don't worry, I'll smooth it over with my store. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. So that is interesting, but it's something. Doesn't look like we have much in the way of visitors here. Didn't I put up a second? You know, I really thought I put up a second wreck place. Oh, it's over here. But, no, not much in the way of visitors here, but, um... Alright, so... So, what was it? Strength, Perception, and Intelligence. Well, Intelligence is, uh, Doc Shock. And I have no problems with him being there. This could be the pivot, if anywhere. Alright. Worker is living here. Who is it? It's Gibbs. What else can she do? Alright, decent endurance, decent agility. Alright.
Okay. I guess we'll move her to farming. Although she doesn't have anything in that regard. Well, I guess we'll move her to farming because... Yeah, Gibbs will do just fine there. And that'll free up Ed Rock once we do his quest. Okay, we are overweighed. We do need to work on that. Okay, here's a weapons bench. All right, let's drop off the junk. That didn't do much of anything. Let's take a look at the weapons we got, see if there's anything worth dismantling. And there is not. Alright, so what we're going to do is we need to find a place to sit. Or, or snooze. If you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. Whole place is run by robots. So we'll sleep for a few hours, kill some time, and then we can talk to the Vault-Tec rep about selling some of our crap. Lots. And there he is. What have you got to trade today? Okay. Whoops. Not someone in the helmet. Wait a minute. Yeah, you know, we never did look it. and see if we can if we have the money to grab his bed. We do. A left grieve. What are we currently rocking on our left leg? Eh, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna grab it anyway. And that will easily allow us to sell everything else. Our current left leg is the destroyer's left leg, which isn't bad. All right. You have no idea. There we go. And Red Rocket is coming along actually kind of nicely, but we need to go back to Sanctuary and do the thing with the rest of the inventory management. Right, we need to turn off the tracking. And we finally got ourselves our first settler quest. Municipal building class unlocked. Advanced power plant. Finally, now we can start upgrading, and that will allow us to get comp plots. Howla motherfucking Luya. Took long enough. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to track. Actually, I know who the... Here's the thing. I know who that is. It's Codsworth. So what we're going to do is 
we are going to dump off our extra gear. Okay, looking at this. I mean, the resistance isn't bad as you get more and more banged up. I don't know. I like what the destroyer's left leg gives slightly better move speed. I'm actually going to stick with that. Yeah, yeah, I know it now. It looks like I bought that for no reason. Oh no, there's definitely a reason. We got pulse grenades, we got frag grenades, we're good there. Okay. We need more Rad X. But that's not the place for Rad X. Alright, let's put up the extra food. And we do have a... That's a Vault 4 bobble. Where's our regular bobble? It's on the wall somewhere, right? Ah, here it is. We got two bobble heads. And... Alright, that's full up now. So we need a second... Place for it too. Yeah, that works. That doesn't do much for our weight, but it does do stuff so for a bit of the inventory clutter and for displays. How are we doing on ammo? Not bad on all of them. We can definitely manage that. Oh, right. Sunset Sarsaparilla shirt. Ah, oh, that is a new one. I knew it. Okay. Well, it gets us back under 100 again, so that's good. And... Okay. It is now time... to upgrade our power plant. It's going to produce more pollution, but that's okay. We'll need it to advance things further and eventually, among other things, get uh, pollution fighting uh, plots. Thank you, Strong. Nothing else for now. And with a little bit of hope here. Once this does, we will then be able to unlock complots which will allow us to get better settlers in general, and then we won't have to worry about the name settlers. All right, speaking of name settlers, let's look around. The rec plots and the com plots, that is where they will be gathered around, most likely. Yeah, awful quiet.
and it's just awful quiet here. And there you go, Municipal Building Class on Lock Communications. Acts as an advanced recruitment beacon for settlements with a plus 10% chance of recruitment per level. Chance, uh, changes your max settlers in the settlement to be equal to the number of beds and homes available and improves the chance for higher special stat settlers to arrive with each level. That is what you want. And that is what we're going to build. The thing is with this, you don't need anything fancy. In terms of special stats. But this is the game changer we've needed. All right, so we're going to stick it over here next to Bessie. let it do its thing. While we're letting it do its thing, we're going to take a look at... There we go. We're going to take a look at our new power plot, courtesy of our dear, dear Codsworth. Coal burning plant. Kind of looks like crap right now, but it's only level one. It will improve as time goes on. Defense is a little down right now because we are missing some. Settlers. Well, that was where old Paul was. So we're going to look... Here's Marcy. There's a machine disassembler who's got her strength up, but we need her more. For the comm plot. So, first things first. Fire her up there. And then we will change her recreation to something a little less intrusive for other things, like, say, Perception. And this will only upgrade It'll only bring in settlers that have that as long as we have the bed space for it. So this is a big one here that we just that we got. County Crossing finally popped that level 3 power. We built our advance, now we have comp plots. And once that's up, we should start getting more and 
better people here. And she ran off. Lordy. All right, so we got somebody bored here, so we'll. S but no settlers matching the request. Very bizarre. Yep, it's Marcy, because she ran off. Do your job, Marcy. Get this thing built up. We need it. And I think once this is actually up and running, uh, we're going to actually end it here. In the next episode, we're going to help Ed Rock get RT back. And he'll probably. And what do we have queued up for him? We have uh, for Ed, uh, Ed Rock. We have the tech gathering, the one tech gathering at that Red Rocket, to do so. So now we're just waiting for this to build. Okay, it says it's under construction, and the rads are back. Hey. Okay, the houses are not providing any protection, so I guess that's another. Rad X. And there we go. We now have a functioning comm plot. Technology unlocked. Mark 1 beacons. You can now craft Mark 1 beacons at the city planner desk. These can be dropped to cleared locations to have caravan services settlers come and search for salvageable junk for your settlement. Well, so anytime we go to a dungeon, we can craft one of those, throw them down, and we're good to go. I think we actually got that done before we finished his technology unlock. Salvage begins. You can now craft them at the city planner says he's allowed you to place them in containers to make your settlement caravan services settlers come and pick up anything you place in that container. Okay. Whatever it takes to ensure you don't need to take strong back, I guess. But, eh, screw that. I'd rather have strong back. So, now that we got that squared away and straightened out, inventory has been fixed. I think we're done for now. So, with that said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest and greatest videos as they come in and to help this channel grow. This has been Big Dave the Middle Age Gamer. This is Sim Settlements. Who for Fallout 4? I'll see y'all next time.